Hi, I'm Leah. And I'm Michael. And we're from Tape Art. And today, we're inside. But we're going to do an activity that you can find in the activity booklet inside the Tape Art Activity Kit. The activity that we're going to do today is draw a window. Make a window life-size or bigger. This window is a portal into a different time or place. You can draw multiple windows showing multiple places or the same place at multiple times. All right, so where do you want to start? I think I'm going to draw a window that looks out into lava land. So that is just a land full of volcanoes spewing lava everywhere. Okay, that sounds really good. And I will experiment with a whole bunch of different types of windows here mm -hmm. and sort of visually break down how windows are drawn. Sounds good. We're gonna get going. There you go. And we're here with the Tape Art Play-By-Play. -play. We're hoping to see a lot of good Tape Art action out there today. Oh, Michael's got a strip of tape there. Looks like he's making a tape measure of some sort, folding that tape in half and making sure there's no adhesive so that that thing does not stick to him. And he's got a tape about as high as he wants his window and he's putting down dots to measure that window and make sure it is straight. And it looks like Leah's gone with a classic eyeballing approach. We'll see how that works out for her. Michael here is creating the four corners of his window and using the corner of the room as a way to make sure that his window is parallel. Looks like he's only four lines away from a basic window. Nice work, Michael. That is the most boring window we've ever seen. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Looks like he's gesturing. You do know he's only one line away from a double hung window. If that's what he is looking to do, he is going to have to find the halfway point on those verticals. He's gone back to his measuring tape again. He's folded it in half and boom goes the dynamite. Perfect tool. All right. And he's again placing dots. Usually Michael's in the let's just draw camp. What do you think's going on today? Well, in recent interviews, his coach has said that he's been working on a precision game. With the addition of this fifth line, he's gone from a basic window to a double hung. Now checking in with Leah and looking at her window. I'm no volcanologist, but shouldn't we see some lava on those volcanoes? I've got to say, I'm not in lava with it yet. And now we've got four panes up. That is a classic window. We've seen that in a lot of children's drawings, but it's a good one. <laughs> Adding more panes now. He's basically using the same technique over and over, just making his tape measure go to work around his window. Almost finished here. Looks like he's got this window in the bag. And wait, the satisfaction is kicked in. He's doing some deconstruction at this point. He's back to his tape measure. He's going to be using his cat's cadle skills to loop the tape around his middle fingers to divide his tape measure into thirds. That can only mean one thing, that no. he's going for the Georgian. The Georgian is a great choice. We've seen a lot of championships won with the Georgian. Georgian sash windows are the picture of elegance with their distinctive six panel grid design on both the top and bottom halves. Oh my gosh, he's going right past the Georgian. We're counting 24 panes here. It's a legendary double Georgian. He's ripped it down again. This sometimes happens, you know, with our top tape artists. The true artists will sometimes make dozens of attempts before finishing their masterpiece. This is a good time to look out Leah's window and her volcanoes have erupted and they are looking lovely. Take three at that basic window. Looks like he might be getting fancy. He was off to a timid start. Showing off his pro skills. Michael has been taping for 30 years now. <laughs> <laughs> he is generally considered to be one of the best players in the league. <laughs> a real student of the game. <laughs> Looks like he might be going for perhaps a stained glass window. I'm not sure what he's aiming for here. Whatever it is, it's going to be classy. I like what I'm seeing. <laughs> navigating a lot of diagonal lines right now. Could it be a flex maneuver in the making? But he's just connected those corners, so I think he's going for a diamond window. Diamond it is. A diamond it is. Oh, he's pulled off a diamond window. That is very classy. Out of nowhere. Perhaps that is the best window that can be drawn. We think thinking for what? What is this? It looks oh, like he... no, he's making a compass, I think. He's doing a twist. He's going to use that little part on the end to stick the compass to the wall. Oh, he's got an anchor point, but where is he going to stick that thing? Again, folding his tool in half. Mmm, the perfect compass. When you say compass, I think it might be have some new viewers who are confused. Compass meaning something to help us draw a circle. All right, but in this case, it looks like he's going for a half circle. Half circle. Oh, he is. He is dotting it off. Arch. Window. All he's got to do now go. is connect the dots. And, oh, he could have pulled off a longer piece of tape, but he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Not as smooth Not as it could have been. <laughs> Diamond window with a fan on top of it? Is that what he's... It is. It's the reality, people. Diamond window with a fan. 
Ah, oh, that is a nice looking window. Michael's done just in time to help finish up the curtains on Leah's volcano scene. And remember kids, art is not a competition. Nice. I really like the details of these volcanoes over here in the distance. And the foreground, look at the texture on these curtains. Something to think about if you really like the fancy windows that Michael has drawn, but you want to put a scene like this volcano behind them, draw your scene first and then add these lines after. That will make your life a whole lot easier. <laughs> and a reminder, this is an activity from the Tape Art Activity Kit, and we look forward to seeing what windows you make. Until the next video, see ya! Hey y'all, thanks for watching. If you're looking for the tape art activity kits featured in this video, check out the link in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.